It's Bonnie Happy Wednesday. The sun is still shining, which is a good sign. And I am still cleaning. So I'm actually having a lot of fun getting in here and just sorting my Bath and Body Works mist collection. So I have another mist part three to talk about. And I'm super excited. Look what I found. I found the missing confetti cake pop from yesterday and the missing original strawberry pound cake. So now I'm going to put these in the box with the margarita cupcake and I've completed that collection. I also found my all-time favorites, the groovy watermelon. I can't believe I goofed up this the other day because you know me, this is the scent that I love so much. So I got my groovy watermelon and um, thank you so much to everyone who's helping me actually um, get these sets back together. Everyone's been like going, yes, Bonnie, you're missing this one. That is so helpful. So I got another box for you today. So I got some early birds. This is mostly fall stuff. Um, I got some good stuff though. So who remembers this collection? This is when we still had fall traditions and we didn't have like a lot of scents come out like for the holidays. It was like, oh, we have like six or seven. Now we have like 30. So we have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. The scent notes are not even on the back of here. These are so old. So yeah, that's absolutely a good one. Um, love my Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin every year. The infamous Toasted Praline and Pear, which actually smells like... Um, graham crackers. This was like the be all end all most wonderful scent ever. We have not had it back. So toasted praline and pear. As part of this, we also had champagne, apple and honey, which is interesting because this one always comes out in August now. And then um, actually raspberry sugar. This was more of the Christmas collection. I got to find the rest of those. Um, okay. Yeah. We're kind of, this goes in the Christmas box. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, the lid doesn't match on this one. We'll put that one aside. Like I said, this is really difficult to do. Okay. So next up, I located three of the scents in whoo, this collection. So we had um, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Again, with the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, crisp Morning Air, which I don't think we've had back in a while. Crisp Fall Breeze, Golden Amberwood, and Juicy Apple. I think I'm missing a box somewhere because I can't find my pumpkin cupcake. This smells really good, by the way. I can't find pumpkin cupcake. I got to look for that. Also in this collection, Bonfire Bash. Oh my gosh. Bath and Body Works. You need to bring Bath and... Uh, you need to bring Bonfire Bash back for summer. Oh my gosh. I missed this one. Oh, it's so good. Um, this one is the Vanilla Bourbon Creamy Sandalwood and Cashmere Musk. Uh, this is a must-have. We have to have it for summer or fall this year. So, Bonfire Bash. Okay, I'm starting to get my Halloween collection back in order here. So, I did find... Okay, that one goes here. I found Enchanted Candy Potion. This was the Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitch Berries, and Whipped Pixie Dust. Uh, Dirty Soul Soap Company does this one. Um, I love this one. This is like the most sugary, wonderful scent. It's got pixie dust in it. This one is great. Um, so Enchanted Candy Potion. And then I've got Vampire Blood, Everlasting Magic, the Spellbinding, Spell One. I forgot what that's called. Why did it just leave? I got to find that one. That one's downstairs somewhere. But Vampire Blood, Everlasting Magic. And then I thought I had... Oh, I have the an older Wicked Vanilla Woods. Um, I'm going to smell this though, because a lot of people were saying this smelled like uh, Viva Vanilla. I don't think so. Not even close, you guys. Uh, Viva Vanilla. I like Viva Vanilla better. No, this is not uh, Viva Vanilla, but um, still a good scent. Gotta love uh, Wicked Vanilla Woods. So I'm starting to get the Halloween collection going there. Next up, we have the chalkboard collection. I know I have all of these somewhere. I'm missing sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I think one more. Sugar cherry crisp. Yes, this was like the be all end all of amazingness. They need to bring this one back too. Oh, I love sugar cherry crisp. 
um, marshmallow uh, pumpkin latte. Uh, this is when marshmallow pumpkin latte, I think, was a little bit stronger. It actually smells pretty good. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. And then, does anyone remember this one? Sparkling plum prosecco. That was a good one. I liked this one a lot. Yeah. And then the first time we saw um, Vanilla Mocha Cafe, which is uh, the Vanilla Mocha Cream. So we haven't seen this one again recently, but oh my gosh, this first version, I think, was the best. It does smell like a Vanilla Mocha, like cafe drink. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I got those all ready. Get some water. Um, it's funny, my cold is basically over, but you know when you have like that last little bit of coughing? Yeah, that's what I got. And when I'm spraying stuff and I'm talking on camera, it gets a little difficult. So I had to stop. Okay, next up, um, this collection, this is why it's good for me to clean today, gives me something to do. Okay, does anyone remember uh this fall collection? I found all these. These are from uh, these are from last year, I think, weren't they? Oh my gosh, is time flying? I think they were from last year. Uh, Copper Fields, um, which is Harvest, Sun, Fresh Wildflower, and Bronzed Woods. I doubt we'll see anything like this back. It wasn't thrilling. I mean, I wasn't like over the top excited about this one. It's okay. Um, we got uh, Sunrise Woods, which is a classic for fall. We got the Moonlit Martini, which is another one that we'll probably never see again. Good to have in your collection. Vibrant Fruit, Sparkling Gin, and Midnight Musk. Um, it's always fun to get these one-offs. It smells okay, because they make nice collectibles. And then um, Sweet Whiskey, which is um, not Bonfire Bash, but it's definitely a good one. I love my Sweet Whiskey. It's great. It's the Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berry. So I have that entire collection. Um, that I found, which I was excited about. A couple other things that I need to find. So, Sweater Weather came out, I think, like five or six years ago with Bonfire Bash. And it's funny because it wasn't as popular. It was in a gray, um, kind of pink and gray bottle. And people weren't as excited. It wasn't until it came out, I think, for summer that people got excited. But I got to find my Bonfire Bash in that design. Um, I also have to find the rest of this collection, pumpkin, uh, White Pumpkin and Chai. Uh, there were a couple of other ones. A lot of people thought this was pumpkin picking from um, a couple of years ago. I think it's a little different. Again, this is so old, there's no scent notes. This is right around the time I think they started putting scent notes on the back of here. This was good, though, White Pumpkin and Chai. I got to find the rest in that collection. I did find three of this collection. Remember this one? This was not too old either, actually. These, oops, I got that one turned around. Uh, Pink Suede, Cozy Season, and Sweater Weather. I love the bottles on these. These are so pretty. They were those nice um, pastels. There was, um, oh my gosh, what was the other one in that collection? I think it was a white bottle. What the heck was it, you guys? You guys all know. You guys always fill in the, the blanks for me. Um, Sunrise Woods, again with the Sunrise Woods, Golden Hour Coast, and then Apple Drive, which is in called, is it called Apple Drive? I always get the name on that one so wrong. Um, that was in this collection. Golden Hour Coast, I think was Peach. Um, Sun Kiss Bergamot, oh, Golden Pear in Radiant Woods. It wasn't Peach, it was Pear. Um, smell too bad. It didn't thrill me at the time. It's not bad though. And then the final collection that I have in here that I'm trying to compile, and I'm missing like four of these, uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. We're going to talk about that one in a minute. I have my marshmallow pumpkin latte. This is from last year. And then sweater weather. So here's my advice for Bath and Body Works this year. Make enough pumpkin pecan waffles because I feel like this got sold out like really fast last year and everyone wanted it. They have to bring this back. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I love it in the shower gel. It's amazing. Let me spray it in here. Um, it's amazing in the shower gel. Oh my gosh. It smells exactly like pumpkin pecan waffles. Who else is getting excited for fall? I know. It's, you know, it's the, it's the weather. Um, oh my gosh. This smells so good. It's a little intense to wear 
because it literally feels like you kind of dumped pumpkin pecan waffles on your head. A lot of people love that. I sometimes like it, but the shower gel is decadent. Absolutely love a shower gel. So hopefully this comes back for fall and hopefully uh, they make enough of it for everybody so everyone can get it. So anyway, um, that's another bit I got going. I'm so excited. This is really fun for me um, to do these in like bite-sized pieces because then I can figure out what I got going. So I'm excited, you guys. I got another one uh, ready to go and I'm so excited. I found my other, um, the confetti cake pop and the strawberry pound cake. I'm going to spray a little confetti cake pop. The original. Oh my gosh, you guys, I sniffed this one a little bit too much and started coughing. Um, the original on this was really good. It's, it's a little bit similar to Christmas cookies, but it's kind of got its own um, thing going on. So I'm super excited I found that one. So anyway, yay! I'm so excited I got all this going on. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll probably have one more video on later tonight. Bye-bye.